day 10 of our road trip, we are finally in Montana, but we still had a six hour drive ahead of us. We took Highway 87, which was the fastest, most direct route, but we had to prepare because there was not a lot of gas stations, so we had to fill up our gas before we left. There's not a lot of places to eat, and so we just packed a lunch that day. We hit rain, construction, a nice rest area where we were going to have a picnic lunch, but it was really cold and windy that day. So many pronghorn, they were everywhere. And finally, mountains, the glorious mountains we've been longing to see. Finally, after our long six hour drive, we make it to Giant Springs State Park in Great Falls, Montana. They do have a fish hatchery here, but we got there after 4.30, so we weren't able to see them. But that's okay, we were here to see the giant spring. On June 18th, 1805, William Clark described giant springs as the largest fountain or spring he had ever seen. This spring feeds into a very short river called the Row River, and then the Row River flows right into the Missouri River.
Clark's expedition to the Pacific Ocean went up the Missouri River. Now these are the great falls of the Missouri River, which obviously they cannot go up. So they had to remove all their boats and carry them up past these falls. And it's so neat because our youngest son was just learning about this in school. And so we were able to show him a part of what he learned in school. It was really neat. This state park has about five dams that you can visit. This was the Ryan Dam. And we ended our day at the Black Bear Diner. And yes, my son ate a pancake that looked like a bear. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. On our next adventure, we will be inside Glacier National Park in Montana. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our channel of all of our videos of our road trip leading up to this one. And as always, adventures are out there. Are you? Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.